hello YouTube, Brad here who went up the sleeve customs, over here with some subscribe buttons when you get to the end of the video. If you haven't done it already and you're interested in what we're playing with, hit one of them. The more videos over here. Alright, if you remember in a couple of videos back, we started building an 800 cell 4S, so 4S, uh, 200p, 800 cell in total, power pack, pokey for his uh, RV van. Well, it's been about, oh, about a week. I've tested some more cells. Yeah, there they are, all the goodies. So, the big reason for this video is actually to ask a little bit of advice. My well, first bit of, uh, the question really is, BMS boards. Now, I'm very familiar with the amazing Batrium BMS gear. Um, Peter, HB Powerwall. I've spent lots of time talking with him about his awesome BMSs. I've watched all of um, Daniel from DIY Tech and Repairs videos, Average Joe's videos, and uh, talked about it with Average Joe as well. And I really like the... Uh, the usability of the big Batrium BMS system and the long mons, all the telemetry that you get out of them, they'll tell you lots of things. Long story short, I want to use something better than what China thinks is a uh, 30 amp BMS. Now, I'm going to have 200 cells in parallel and then 4 in series. So this is going to stay a 4S battery. I'm going to be using an inverter that will cope with the 4S voltage. Don't try and tell me I need a different inverter. The inverter I'm going to use can handle up to 17 volts input and won't shut off until down 9.5. So absolutely, absolutely fine for what I want. What I need is a BMS that's not a cheap nasty, but something that will actually handle some decent current. I intend to run out of this battery when it's done. An adjustable, one of them variable buck boost converter systems, which will allow me to turn the juice up and turn the juice down as an output to a lead acid battery that um, Pokey's already got. So he's already got a massive, great big, uh, I think he said 100 amp hour maybe, um, lead acid. We're going to use that to do all the horrible heavy lifting, which takes the depth of discharge and stress off this pack. So I'll be able to discharge this pack uh, if I get the uh, system that I want at about 50 amps. I'll be pushing 50 amps out of this system into a through, oh, through a buck boost converter. Little awesome ones with a digital screen. Um, into a lead acid battery. Now, most of their loads uh, are pretty well spread out. They've got laptops and drones and chargers and things like that. Now, all of the nasty loads, they've got a really big stereo system in their camper van. When they're rolling down the street, they have the big stereo system, fair pump, like a couple of big subwoofers, amplifiers, etc. They like their music. I'm not going to make the BMS or the output of this do all that horrible hard work when they've got a lead acid battery that can absorb that kind of sting. Lead acid batteries are cheap in comparison. This thing is going to be like real, real talk, like four thousand dollars worth of cells. It's eight hundred cells. About yeah, about four Australian dollars a cell ish, four to five, something like that. You may be able to get them cheaper if you buy half a million of them at a time. So, I want a BMS, I don't want crazy, crazy, crazy current handling ability. I've had a bit of a look for a Victron one, they do make a BMS. I can't find bugger or videos on YouTube about them. If you know one, link it for me in the video description, down in the, in the video description, that's what I do. Down in the uh, comment section, link me a... Uh, video, I'd much appreciate that, of the Victron BMS. I'm yet to have started contacting anyone who builds BMSs. 
Uh, I've contacted a couple of battery companies, uh, lithium battery company in Australia and a few others, and uh, well, lithium battery company in Australia didn't even bother to reply. It's not quite a big email. Um, having a chat about what I do and what I would like to build. So, uh, yeah, I'll give them a little bit longer of a chance to reply, but we'll see what happens. This beast is a very, very, very custom thing. This is going to be around 400 amp hour per bank, judging that these are 2 amps per cell, 200 of them, about 400 amp hour uh, per cell. So, anyone catch that? Anyone see that? I put that one out upside down. He was going to be outnumbered, wasn't he? Anyway, as I said, that one needs re-wrapping. I can go on the outside up the front. As I was saying, the BMS, this, yeah, this battery is going to be quite a unique thing. Um, as far as I know, I don't know of anyone building batteries like this for camper vans or mobile power kind of solutions. Um, once this one's built and tested, and I've got a good working BMS, I intend to buy them continuously. Uh, I'm very happy with the 4S system. Hopefully we're going to have enough money left in the budget to buy a 800VA Victron Blue Power Inverter to go with this project, uh, which will power everything they need in the bus. Smooth, clean, perfect, perfect pure sine wave power for their uh, laptops, chargers, all the good stuff that requires real power. Um, you can buy cheap inverters. Cheap inverters are always going to be cheap inverters. It's just the way it is. The Victron one that I've got here is just beautiful. It doesn't make a single ticking noise. Carry on. Yeah. Anyway. Spend the money once. Buy a much better one. I want to build some portable power systems out of all the cells that I can get my hands on because the ones that they're making uh, commercially available are cool but they're you're really kind of paying a premium price for the lithium name uh, a lot of the ones that are out there are Caleb cells, you know, like the Prismatic Prismatic lithium batteries they're awesome but um individual self-used 18650s like this um, I'm really leaning towards that's where it's at this pack for pokey so we've got, we've got two full racks of these done already this is uh, we're on to the third three out of four and we're nearly we we'll nearly halfway through this one so it's like it's a significant step um, I get the 60% mark cell wise. So that, that's a big deal. Uh, we've got to get all these cells sorted and tested and that. Still got a box of them inside we're going through. I will have to process some more 4 amps. Probably probably even be processing my good 4 amps so that we've got cells. That's okay though. We've got to get the project done. We need this bulk battery power. I don't really use 4 amps at work anymore anyhow. Everything's 5, 6 and 9. They're all, they're all much bigger. So this beast needs a BMS. If you've got any recommendations, drop them in the comments. Any ideas, drop them in the comments. I appreciate all feedback. Um, the, the system is staying 4S. I think a Batrium is kind of wasted on a 4S battery. Um, there'll be lots of people doing 4S batteries. Uh, a lot, like a lot cheaper BMSs for 4S batteries. Uh, the Batrium, I believe, can do something crazy like 250 cells in series. So it's it probably outclasses what we want to do. Um, like I say, if you've got any input, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe button's over here. Help get my automotive channel over the threshold line. It's the normal one up the top. Some uh, more videos up there for you to have a look through. It's a playlist of the build of this beast. There's more cells in the rack already. Awesome news going forward. He's really like getting excited. I keep sending him photos of uh, the cells getting racked up and yeah, he really likes it. I can't wait to get this built in the bus because uh, 
so much better than lead acid batteries. We're talking about energy density that's light. We're talking about um, yeah, high energy density per weight. And uh, to do the same thing with sealed batteries, you'd be paying thousands of dollars anyway. And uh, your van will go down the road on a big lane because of all the weight in it. So get rid of that DC boost converter off the alternator, a boost buck converter on the output, and inverter straight off the BMS if we can, as long as it's a good BMS. And um, yeah, we should be sweet. BMSs, drop your suggestions. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the next video.